Okay, today we're going to do a new project using layer masks in Photoshop. we had done a layer mask before with a garden fence and a um, garden underneath it, and we're going to, we revealed something through that fence. Well, this time we're not going to bring in two photos, we, but we do need to have two layers to create a layer mask on this picture. So what I'm going to do is come over here to my layers palette, and if you don't see it, go to Window, Layers, and get it out. And I'm going to duplicate my background layer with Command J on my keyboard. So I've got now two layers, basically two copies of the same picture. Now what I need to do is I want to select this blue football player. And I'm going to put a crazy blur on the background. Now I realize that there's already a blur back here, but it's going to be kind of like a motion blur, almost like a panning type of shot. So we're going to try this. I'm going to get my quick selection tool out and I'm just going to click on his blue uniform. And I don't want the other guy's hand, but I can fix that later. I'm just clicking. Now some of you guys sweep when you hold the quick selection tool. You, gotta, you get a lot of extra stuff. Now we can fix this. If I hold Alt, the Option key or Alt key, I can take away things from my selection. So I'm not going to worry about it getting perfect right now because I am going to fix some of this in a second. But if I need to make my circle smaller, I use the bracket keys right next to the letter P. And that way I can have a little more control on him. I know I'm not, I don't have it perfect, but that's okay because here's what I'm going to do. I've got my marching ants on most of it. If I hit this little button down here on the bottom of the layers palette, it says add layer mask. It's a circle inside of a rectangle. If I click on that, it's going to put a little white piece of paper, and you can see my, my cutout here. Now I'm going to hide this bottom layer just by clicking on this little eyeball because I, want, I don't want to be confused, so I want to see what I have cut out so far. Okay, that looks terrible. So what I'm going to do is with my paintbrush, I'm going to use the black to add into my picture here. I'm going to get my paintbrush out. So if I, whoops, wrong way. And hit Command Z. And I noticed too I had a fuzzy brush selected, so I want to make sure that on this one, I have a hard edge brush. I want my edges really sharp. So okay, I'm going to switch it around so the white conceals. So I'm going to paint back in any part that I missed. And this is so great. So I'm just going to paint in. And if I screw up something, like it doesn't look like I don't want that. So I'm going to switch my colors. So my black is going to take this part out. I don't have to be super perfect with it because it's going to be blurred pretty solid. But I do want to get rid of some of this stuff. I want it to look fairly clean. And let's see, let's get rid of some of this. So I don't want this part in focus later. It's hard for me to tell exactly where his hand is, but I'm just going to switch my brushes back and forth. See, I know I need this part in here. Oh, is that the other guy's hand? Yeah, okay. I guess I'm not going to worry about that too much. It's going to be hard to get rid of all of that. Maybe I will get rid of this part, though. I'm just going to try and keep the blue as much as I can. And let's see, I'll take out this little bit right in here. So this is just a matter of playing with it and getting in and getting your cut out pretty much the way you want it. I just want to make sure I don't have any major chunks of him missing. And I got a little stuff around, whoops, Command Z will undo if you screw up. So, just took that out, all right. Oh, Command Z again. Accidentally dragged over that. Okay, I'm gonna hit Command Zero. Well, I guess that brings it in full screen command minus scrolls it out so I guess I'm not missing anything on him I just wanted to make sure I wasn't losing his feet and I messed that up so I'm gonna paint that back in so this is what I love about doing cutouts with the layer mask is that you can't really screw up because you can always paint it back in makes it pretty easy to do all right so I think he's as good as it's gonna be and like I said it may not be perfect but it's pretty close I'm gonna turn on my layer mask I'm, I'm gonna turn on this background layer again so I can see it is there anything else I missed that I still want I can't tell if this little white thing is part of my picture I guess it's not gonna matter that much okay 
here's what I'm going to do now. I'm on this this layer right now, but I want to select my background because I want to put a blur on my background. So I'm going to go to Filter at the top, and I'm going to go to Blur, and I want this to go to Radial Blur. So Filter, Blur, Radial Blur, and instead of Spin, I want it to Zoom. And I'm going to take this middle point and kind of drag it up where I think his face is. I want that part to be kind of the center focal point. And I could like really increase this blur, but I don't want to make anybody sick. So I'm going to just increase it a little bit and say, OK. And now you can see behind how this really blurs out, but he's really sharp contrast. So that is our focal blur project. Whoops. And I did not mean to do that. I just wanted to stop. So if you get to this point, File, Save As, and try another one. So I want you to have two of these in your Grade This folder.